I guess if I had any advice to another city that was considering doing what we did, I would say definitely look at the potential of the end result. The dynamics of shopping have changed. If you don't improve, if you don't change, if you don't grow, if you don't get better, business stalls, people quit coming, becomes less interesting. This just brings more people, brings the experience to your town. And I think people are in this generation are looking for an experience. You know, the real fortunate part was all the people that got on board. At WSN, we were fortunate enough to be involved from the very beginning. Um, the project started about four years before construction, in 2010. When we started the business, we had probably 15 choices of where we could locate our business. Lots of empty buildings. The potential that this could be a really, really great location. So, And as it's turned out after the complete streets, it was a good move. Like many of the construction projects that happen in Minnesota, we have just a short amount of time to get road construction projects done. And of course, that coincided exactly with our heaviest season of tourism. Tourist season obviously is where we thrive and grow, and that was the biggest concern. So there was a lot of worry about that. You know, how are we going to do this? How are we going to attract people to still come down here, even though we're kind of in what looks to be total chaos? MnDOT initially planned this to be a mill and overlay project, where they were going to come in and mill three or four inches of asphalt and just fill it back again. So you get a nice smooth riding surface, but that's all you'd get. But the reality was businesses were having a hard time with sewer and water lines breaking. We had abandoned steam lines that were in here. Um, the power was old. Everything was old here in the project. And we wanted to replace that. And so the idea was to have a partnership with MnDOT. And it turned out just to be a great partnership. Complete Streets is a program that MnDOT sponsors. And they're fairly strict about what their project should look like. So instead of just focusing on trucks and cars, Complete Streets Project also looks at all the other modes of transportation. Kind of like building a house, you know, would you build your own house and then not put in trees or shrubs or shutters or flowers on the front step? Of course not. This is a major project that's going to be very, very disruptive. There's no getting around that. And we had to do it in such a way that the businesses could survive and could actually thrive. Community engagement is number one top priority for any project to happen when you're talking about ripping up a whole downtown. Mike Weber, Tim Schoenhoven, and myself with a few meetings came in, set up in this conference room, and interviewed every person, every business owner, and everybody who rented a shop up and down Broadway. We also had input meetings on what Broadway and the amenities should look like. And they were conceptual meetings, and they said, how about this, how about this? Here's what it looks like. What do you think would make it better? How about lane configuration? How about parking? How does all this stuff come together? What do you think this should look like? Here's what the benches are going to look like. Here's what the bollards are going to look like. And those meetings really started with everything that we did here. A lot of people came in and said, we don't want a bench there. We don't want a tree there. But when you heard them and then said, here's why and here's the plus of it, most of them went, oh, I never thought of that. We had a landscape architect firm on board. It was the Toysington Coiler Group out of Minneapolis, and specifically Amy Bauer. And she came with all of her skills and took a look at all this job and incorporated the colored sidewalk and the way the pavers work, the way the planters work, the way that the plants work and the streets and the trees. And there's so much little detail to it. And it was the coming together, that the blending of it, that, that was really the trick. And that's really what Amy brought to it. I think she did a great job. Public perception was really the reason that the road committee started in the first place. We realized that it was very important for us to have this very positive view of what was going to happen. That's part of what made the project so successful was communication, communication, communication. Eight different partners surfaced to the top as primary partners within that group and would have a say. And when you get that whole group together talking, they have fantastic ideas. We wanted to make sure that because the downtown project would affect the Downtown Merchants Association the greatest, that they definitely were at the table and giving input the whole time through that process.
Widseth did a great job of coming to the downtowners meetings, I think calming fears. We kept access to the businesses at all times, even if it was temporary access, they always had it, but still it's disruptive when they're right in front of you. We phased this project from start to finish, it actually went from north to south in three different phases. The general premise was phase one had to be done and open to traffic before you could go to phase two. And so if you were a business, you knew that the maximum amount of time was going to be torn up right in front of you was going to be six weeks. The road crew uh, became kind of a buffer. Tim and his, and his crew would relay the construction detailed information back to us, but it was our job to then buffer it to the community so it was more in layman's terms for, for them to understand. I actually had copies of all the plans. Um, I could show those to customers. They loved seeing them. They were very interested in what was going to happen. I taped a radio ad and many of the other businesses that just said, we're open, come down, we have back parking lots. We stayed positive about it, reinforcing that it wasn't hazardous. There's lots of ways to get to all of us. We're open for business like always. I wrote an article once a week in the newspaper called The Buzz on Broadway talking about what's happening. The local radio station, the local newspaper, everybody got on board. And the more you get people on board, the better it is, obviously. Two events that started during the construction that were really just a far-fetched dream at the time would be the downtown's party in the street. The other was to have an art and wine crawl so people could actually look at the construction right in front of them. And when we did this, you know, we were expecting a thousand people. We had 2,500 people come down to this last year. And I remember walking out front and Sarah Carlson, the mayor, and the chamber, Connie, were out front. And I'm like, see guys, look, there's like a million people on the street. There are people all the way around these planters. I mean, it was just exactly what we thought would happen. And who doesn't like to see like a whole full street? We need a party in the street. We need a big thing to bring people downtown. And they looked around and they go, you're absolutely right. And those events have continued now this year. So it's going to be an annual event, which this town has never had. The wine and art crawl then, they ended up adding a second one towards the end of the summer. And then this summer they have three of them that are scheduled throughout the summer as well. Along with the streetscape and everything that happened, I think everybody just kind of said, you know, this looks amazing. This really turned out beautiful. Now we need to just step it up too. People took advantage of doing something extra to their back to clean it up, make it look more presentable. You know, new awnings, new signs. We painted the back of our building. So with all of that happening, I mean, it not only increased the real estate, but it just increased the traffic flow, the customer counts, and all of our businesses have gone up. The end result was increase in business. Does my heart good to look outside and see benches filled with people. We want people to come down. We want them to sit at the tables. We want them to sit on the benches, have coffee, have wine, have lunch. And I think the Complete Streets really added to that whole experience.